Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another beautiful Monday. It's another ESL podcast, and as usual, it's another Pronunciation Monday. Thank you so much again for tuning in to another beautiful podcast. Thank you so much for all of you who continue to listen to me and just started listening to me from around the world. With that being said, let's get into this. Stressed and unstressed schwa. Oh my god, man, we're getting into the very technical side of pronunciation, but I love the schwa. Remember I told you guys about the schwa before? Defeat, repeat. You don't say repeat, okay? Like some of my students say. They say repeat. I say no, repeat. Huh? Repeat. Huh? Repeat. Ah, repeat. You know, and they kind of say it okay, but yeah, you guys get the drift. Now, Let's look at a couple of words. Now, of course, this blog is and these words are available on the ArsenioBuckShow.com. If you look at some of these words, you're going to see some uh, some different trends. So let's look at the first word. Are we going to say A-B-L-E? It's pronounced able, right? Now, if you put the prefix before it to make it the opposite, I'm unable. You're not going to say I'm unable. You're not going to say able, right? Why? Well, you know what? It's very interesting. One, because I guess two syllables. Two, if we look at something like in terms of attaching a T-Y to the end, making it uh, a verb, like ability. My ability, well, that's actually a possessive adjective. His ability, no, that's the same. Her abilities, no, that's more of a noun. Yeah, anyways, so if we look at ability, Ability. We're not going to say ability. Ability. That's four vowels. I'm sorry, four vowels. Four syllables. There we go. Four vowels. What am I talking about? Four syllables. So we're not going to say ability. We're not going to say ability. We're going to say ability. Ability. Okay? So the second syllable is stressed. Now, and of course the A at the beginning is turned into a schwa, but with the word able, it is not a schwa, all right? So, let's look at the next one. We got major, 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 okay? So, again, the A, the vowel sound in the first syllable is stress, major. You're not going to say major, okay? That's more Spanish. I think Spanish is mejor and major, I think, Mahores. Yeah, I, re- I know that's some kind of word. I forgot what it was. But again, major, major. However, if we put T-Y at the end of that, it becomes four syllables just like ability. And what does the A sound like after the M? Majority, majority. The A turns into a schwa, meaning it sounds like uh, 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 uh. All right, so let's go on to the next one. Compete, compete, compete. Noun form, competition, competition. Now, P, 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 E, E, E. We enunciate the E, correct? However, comp, that P, E in competition is not competition. It's competition, competition, competition. All right, let's go on to the next one. Photograph. Now, okay, so some people out there in good old England, they say photograph, photograph, photograph. However, in America, we say photograph, photograph, photograph. Next word, photography, photography, photograph. Photo, photograph, photography, photographer, photography, photographer, photography, photographer, photograph. Does that make sense? When we add either the Y or the ER at the end, it changes the enunciation of the entire word. Why we add on, of course, another syllable. So, photographer, that's four. Photography, that's four. Photograph, that's three. All right, so let's go to the next one. Canada, Canada. So N-A and D-A, those are double schwas. Canada, Canada, Canada. We do not say Canada, Canada, Canada. No, 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 it's all schwa. 
I'm pretty sure England, they don't say that either. However, if we go into the next one, Canadian, Canadian changes, right? So the N-A goes from Canada to N-A-D-N. However, the C-A in Canada turns to the schwa in Canadian, Canadian, Canadian. So the next one, of course, is Japan, 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 two syllables, right? Next one, Japanese, Japan, Japanese, Japan, Japanese, three syllables, ja, ja, a, a, it goes into the a sound. It's no longer a schwa like it would be in j, Japan, 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 Japanese, Japanese, Japanese. Got it? So, here we go. I'm going to repeat these words as always. There are six of them. I want you guys to pronounce, enunciate, and say these out loud like I normally tell you to do. Do you understand? So, here we go. It's up to you to figure out where the schwa is. Now, of course, go to Arsenio's English and Test Preparation Learning. You'll be able to get all of the information there and post everything accordingly. In terms of where the schwa is, remember to go to my Facebook law, wall, I'm sorry, or of course the message so we can figure out if you actually know where the schwa is. So here we go. <sighs> Practical. 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 Official. 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 Conclusion, conclusion, conclusion. Profession, profession, profession. Photography, photography, photography. Velocity, velocity, velocity. Guys, and with that being said, please, and of course, I always say, please go over this over and over and over to improve your pronunciation because that's the only way to improve it. So, again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to yet another wonderful ESL podcast. Please share away, and I appreciate all my wonderful, beautiful, wonderful, wonderfully beautiful listeners around the world. With that being said, I'm your host, Arsenio, as usual, over and out.